like a blink of an eye's not enough She'd rather be staying for days now I'd rather fix it than mess up again She'd rather be burning it all now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's aiming her words so hello guys welcome back to my channel so what we have here today is the 2022 suzuki desire gl plus ags being an ags model of the desire is exactly the same as the suzuki celeria but there is more to that than having just the same transmission also i have a review of the all new celeria the link of that will be in the description down below so being the desire it's more of the sedan version of the suzuki swift I'll get to there, that's the one of the most debatable parts of this car. So here at the front, it looks exactly the same. I do like it. it's a simple but very, very clean design. And there is a lot of chrome here around the fog lamps and around the grill here. The grill here is still big. And you have halogen headlights all around and as well for the fog lamps. And then the ground clearance is pretty decent. It's 145 millimeters. So it's on par or just a little bit higher than most of its competition. So at the side profile, also pretty straightforward. It's very small but very cute looking on the side and you have 15 inch alloy wheels so here at the rear of the suzuki desire this is where things get a little bit divisive i mean the rear of it to be honest only i am not a big fan i mean just look at the trunk of it it's really really puny and then here's the other thing that's triggering my ocd you have led brake lights here i mean why didn't they do that in the front instead of the rear just saying and pretty flat looking design here and as you can see here there is yet again a lot of chrome here well it's just one long chrome bar here on the trunk lid and then open the boot up so it is quite small as well you only have 378 liters of space so in total thank you to kakoteon of autodeal.com.ph you can fit a total of four four gallon water container jugs here in the back that is pretty much the space here and the load lip as you can see it's quite high until here but it's a low car anyway i mean look from ground to the trunk it's not too bad and then underneath you have a space saver donut type tire and only toy here in the back is just one light here oh no wait there's another one here a grocery hanger here and i just noticed right now you have a tow hitch here no idea what's the towing capacity of this i'll just put it here on screen so that's about it in the exterior of the suzuki this here i'll show you the interior the boots really light as well so this is the interior of the suzuki desire so this is the door it sounds all right just a bit better than the cellar throw that down so you can hear me so interior here it's pretty much basic here but i would say it's not too bad i guess i guess there's plastic here and there in the door card but there's fabric soft touches here at least and the adjustments for the side mirrors are also here just above the window switches and then you have a cubby space and bottle holders on each side of the door my water jug fits here on the left side you have an air conditioning vent and despite being a top of the line model there are a lot of blank buttons here on the left side but there's at least for your electronic stability control and your parking sensors at least you have your parking sensors for this suzuki desert but sadly there is no reverse camera but i found the rear parking sensors despite being a small subcompact sedan it is still really helpful and then here in the steering wheel it's hard it's very steep but there's still nice squish on it and then the layout here it's pretty simple as well you have a flat bottom steering wheel no buttons on the right side and then your audio controls all here on the left side only and then you have an analog speedometer analog tachometer with a digital computer right in the middle and then dashboard here and there yeah it's plastic here but it makes up for it at least with the nice metallic silver trim here then glove box pretty small though the infotainment system you have apple carplay and the auto it's a little bit laggy a little bit delayed but at least there's some use for it it's not the sony system unlike the scenario infotainment buttons here below and then further down below you have your climate control functions and knobs even further down below you have one 12 volt socket one usb port with an aux card and then a space for your phone my phone fits there perfectly you have two cup holders here water jug fits perfectly and then here in the gear lever there is a silver trim with gloss black but at least you're not gonna touch that part anyway the gear lever itself there's nice rubbery leather on it with silver accents again on it and then you have a manual handbrake here pretty straightforward design here i mean i've got used to it almost immediately and one difference between this and the suzuki seller there is no auto start stop function and then above here you have lights here some visor with a ticket slip holder don't extend but quite a gap though and 
then seats here they're all fabric by the way despite being this as well the top of the line model but there is nice what weaving in the seats it's gonna look like a zebra pattern so these are the rear seats of the Suzuki Desire getting in ingress and egress is excellent I hope that's the correct term and then okay sounds all right it's not bad yet yeah, unlike in front now everything here now is plastic there is no soft touch fabric here whatsoever but you still have two smaller cubby spaces now and bottle holders on each side my water jug still fits and what's cool unlike most of its competition i think this is the only one in its class or one of the few only this has a central armrest with two cup holders still fits my water jug there's a lot of cup holders here uh, just noticed and yeah fabric seats here same with the zebra pattern here space here in the back feet room knee room is excellent however my headroom is not that great i mean i have space here i am still fight for but look at that that's my headroom so yeah taller people like around what five seven five eight and above might tend to struggle ever so slightly and also you have two air conditioning vents that's very very handy for this desire and then weirdly you don't have a map pocket behind the driver seat but you have one behind the passenger seat and then if i sit here in the middle transmission tunnel is not too tall you can simply put your feet up sitting here in the middle is a little bit softer than usual against in the left and right side of the seats but my headroom okay yeah that's my problem the headroom of this is not that great just being honest last toys here or you have two threading points here just behind so that's about it here in the interior of the suzuki desire i'll show you the engine So this is the engine of the Suzuki Desire. It's a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine that produces 82 horsepower and 113 newton meters of torque. And this one, like I said, is mated to the auto gear shift slash automated manual transmission slash single clutch transmission. Same as the Suzuki Celerio. And then as you can see, there is the computer that controls the clutch right there. So I'm really interested now since this has a bigger engine and more power than the Celerio. I heard this is a really really fun car to drive. So with that it, let's go for a drive. This is it. I'm gonna drive the Suzuki Desire. And like before, I can tell in auto mode of this auto gear shift is quite sluggish. So let's leave it in manual mode and. <laughs> So when you change up a gear, it is more noticeable than the seller. So this one literally feels like an aventador when you shift up and down if you're keeping your foot flat to the floor. So let's try again manual mode but at light footed so to keep it smooth. There, much much smoother. If you lift off ever so side leg, then lift off. It really acts like a manual transmission. I love this. Okay, it's pick, it picks up really well against the Celer. Of course, this is a more powerful engine against the Celer, and also this has more cylinder. Well, one more. This one's a four cylinder. I see why these are still sort of after. I mean, it's probably one of the best steering fields in its class. I mean, it's not the heaviest nor the lightest, it's just the right amount. I am really impressed with this handling. And also, unlike most of its competition, look. I'm just moving it. There is no dead spot. It's already like weaving about automatic mode. Just around here in BGC. Okay, the pickup of it is just a little bit better than the Celerio. I mean, look, I'm just gonna float a bit. Oh, okay, yeah. The pickup of it, the, the tuning, I mean, is way better than the Celerio for some reason. I mean, that was just like a second gear rollout. It's not hunting for higher gears for some reason, unlike the Celerio. Like, already at 30 kph, it's, this one's still second. If it was in the Celerio, around fourth gear already. Oh yeah, it, it does respond to the throttle input really well. Like, there's no delay of it when I mash the throttle. Okay, I'm really curious now with the CVT of the Swift. To be honest, I was asking for the Swift, but that will come very very soon at least i have a comparison of the sedan and the hatchback counterpart now and then here first you try to floor it ah yeah it's much better also there are no driving modes with this desire but yeah the pickup of it when you just suddenly mash the throttle the seller was so delayed i mean here with the desire look 
that picks up way way better. I see why Reagan of Reagan's Rides likes this car. Yeah, despite the old school transmission, I mean it it is quirky. I'm not gonna lie. It suits this car really really well. And unlike this Celeria, this AGS unit is not that jerky as well. It's like this transmission was made for this car, this AGS unit. Of course, if you're planning to go on a long trip, I highly recommend this design. You will have so much fun up in the twisty mountains and as well why this is also sought after and the use of this transmission is fuel economy i've been what, just driving here around bgc i've been averaging 10.1 kilometers per liter that is very very impressive wait that's more fuel efficient than the celerio i did 9.6 in that car I, this one i did 10.1 hmm weird i mean auto mode okay you just feel just a little bit a bit delay when you change up again look it, but it's way better tuned than diesel air just being honest if this is gonna be your first car or first suzuki i highly recommend this design this is an easy and fun sedan to drive probably a little bit better than the competition since this has a very quirky transmission as well so i cannot wait or if someone has a an actual manual design <laughs> let me know in the comments or just pm me in my facebook page i would like to try a manual design so that concludes my review of the Suzuki Desire. I'd like to thank again Sir FJ Bus, Suzuki BGC, and Autohub Group for allowing me to review the Suzuki Desire. So I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more future car reviews. Wait, a few more things. Over humps and bumps. It's good, it's so comfortable, and the brakes are just the right amount of brake feel. It's very good as well. Bye-bye.